Well, morning all and welcome back to Motorhoming Adventures. We are at Redline Campers, which is just near Daventry in the Midlands. And we're here to have a look at some amazing vans. Now we saw Redline at the Caravan and Motorhome show, had seen some of their stuff online. And uh, so we've made contact with them and they've kindly agreed for us to come down and have a good old mooch around so some of their they're vans. They're also part, Redline Campers, they're also part of Venture Caravans and Motorhomes. It's the same site, so an absolute stack of things to come and look at here. So without further ado, we are going to show you around one or two of their vehicles. So as we mentioned at the beginning, um, as well as Redline Campers brand here, um, it's also Venture Caravans and Motorhomes. So one I did want to show you, because I wanted to have a good look through it myself, was one of these Globe cars. We saw a couple of these, in fact more than a couple, at the Motorhome show this, uh, this October uh, 2022. Uh, we're just in November now. and. Um, we didn't get the chance to have a good look through them, so uh, I was really pleased there was one here. So come and have a look at this um, Globe car with us. It's obviously based on a Peugeot Boxer, but there's some fantastic features in this, which I think you'll like. This is um, this is a 2023 one. It's literally just arrived in the last week, um, and therefore a vehicle like this, uh, and this one itself, uh, is available for order or for sale here at Venture Caravans. Um, but do come and have a look inside this one. It's a really nice, uh, really nice space inside. It's some really clever use of uh, of that space. Some of the um, specifications and details you can see up on the screen there. And of course, you can also see there the price at seventy nine nine thirty, which, as I say, we're November twenty twenty two. And this is a 2023 vehicle. You'll see, obviously, on the outside there, your uh, your access for your hookup. There's your uh, Truma combi boiler exhaust coming out there, and that's obviously your entrance to your uh, cassette toilet cassette on the outside there. But plenty of lighting around there. A little bit of privacy tinting on the glass. These, as you'll see in a minute, these are opening hatches at the back there for more ventilation. Very nicely done indeed. Uh, and of course your uh, fresh water tank at the back there. But come and have a look inside. And in fact, before we step up inside, let me just show you this little feature as well, because this is nice. See the lighting under there? So this acts in effect just like a um, just like a courtesy light if you were coming in the driver or passenger door. So you can set the little toggle switch down there uh, to bring this lovely little recessed LED lighting on as you step in. Nice little touch that. Obviously your vents there, you can see from your central heating system in here. And there as well, that's your switch there. See there for your electric, little electric step there. Very nice too. A little bit more lighting coming on there. Just see up on the, up on the ceiling there. Both seats, as you can see, swivel at the front there. And this cab section is what you'd expect from a standard Peugeot with some of its usual features and controls there. This one hasn't yet got a stereo fitted, so it is something that can be spec'd right from the outset and you can obviously have options to add bits and pieces like that that you could talk to talk to Dave or your dealer here. Um, these uh, little units here are really handy. They just pull up from the back here and they've got a little catch here which as you pull down the catch it just releases these two spring loaded and this of course being height adjustable means you can drop in just about any uh, any type of smartphone, any size or indeed as you can see there goes right the way up. You could even get um, a tablet in or something similar if you're using that for perhaps for, uh, for mapping uh, for your sat nav. So a useful little, uh, loose little pocket that, and of course up here as well, you've got 
different stack of storage from these little cubbies here from the glove box under there drops down there USB sockets 12 volt this little removable piece there storage so um, plenty of little nooks and crannies and cubbies drinks holders that uh, that you can use while on the move but of course the magic and the uh, the reason why we'd be looking at one of these is of course for what sits behind us here and there's some great little uses of space in this 2023 model that uh, that I think you'll like you'll have seen probably as we came in there's um, there's like a little double a double aspect if I can call it that table that's just grab the little you can see the little popper here just grab that pull it down and then this slides out like that and it's got more than one locking point so that as it comes out to its full extent there it just locks in place if I just stand back a little bit you'll get the effect of that so you can have your at least two people over there and then you've got each sort of a, got a uh, section of table so handy little design that like that and this as well if you see the rail just at the back there um, it means that this whole unit comes out this section uh, halves uh, the table surface drops down um, settles on obviously to the runner there and you can see what's coming it's because you can turn this into another berth um, so if I just move in here and shut this door and then at the back we'll see that there is a um, that there is another piece an infill cushion that uh, fills this space here and allows this to be a, another single berth so a really clever use of space that is quite apart from its its dining ability and little sort of lounge space and you can see that it's well you can see that it's brand new of course it's still got all its plastic wrapping there on the windows but um, the point being that at the back there you can see that really nice recessed lighting there and look at the way they've hidden lighting all the way around these spaces here very nicely done that little individual switches on them there switches there as well to control that uh, window LED and then these these little cupboards here are really you can just see the catch there and it sort of rolls it's very ergonomically done really nice sort of ergonomic catch that just rolls back and allows those locker spaces to open another one this side as well with a little bit of storage some of your some of your van wire in there probably to do with the tv um, because here we've got obviously your um bracket for your tv and little recess done there ready for the wiring for said tv if you fancied one being fitted close those down you can see as well that the lovely bit of light you're getting in from a good roof hatch there which is, of course has got um, has got its blinds that side and your fly screen this side a simple turn of the handle and you can raise it to any height you want nice space that and then if we look over this side at the galley space You'll see here it's got a good feature actually these um, so that when you're underway uh, you don't want of course any of these drawers starting to open out and spill the contents all over the back of your van on the first roundabout you get and up here they've got a little locking system so at the moment locked and firm don't move but a little touch of that and there we go all the drawers now all the drawers now open see they're subdivided as well nice deep one there for your pans pots and pans um, and then press of the opposite side and lock tight again so a really nice addition that and uh, a really effective way of making sure things don't slide around got your little sink there together with your double gas hob and while we're also up here got your little light switch there you've got a three pin socket there and then of course up above here again similar catch and a little space up there for a bit more storage along the top here 
got your uh, Truma boiler controls there. Also got the um, iNet ready system there. So uh, if you want to know a bit about connection and how to make that uh, iNet work, which is brilliant because it interacts with your interacts with your phone and you can uh, use your phone as a remote control for switching the heating on and off. Um, then do check out the channel where uh, I did a short film about how to uh, get yourself connected up to that and some of the functions that uh, that the Truma app has together with um, remote control of your heating. Um, see your battery indicator there with its uh, 2550 and up to 100% indicators there. More USB sockets there and obviously some little hooks put in place there. Some more very nice recessed lighting both under this panel here which is sort of material leatherette type type finish and then these little stowage spaces there. nooks and crannies for all uh, for all your bits and pieces in the floor as well just uh, below where I'm standing and where that second bed single bed comes down there's also more more little storage spaces hiding away and then another one uh, another one just here that's quite a good uh, quite a good size that one you can see there so literally a stack of places to hide all your goodies, more vents there for your heating. And another, you can just see another three pin socket there. And then another little cubby hole in there. See some of your fresh water in there, fresh water piping, some of your electrics. And um, there's also, you can just see down in there, that's the... Um, Failsafe system that's connected with your um, with your Truma boiler um, as a frost protection system on that. In that, um, if the temperature gets too cold and there's water in your heating system, then um, that system will kick in and it will drop out the water um, so that if uh, so that any freezing temperatures don't damage your pipework. Um, so if, if in the morning it's been quite chilly and you wake up and you've got no hot water and uh, and the water seems to have disappeared or you keep hearing the pump cut in to try and refill your heating system then that's probably what's happened. It's dropped all the water out and you just need to reset that little blue button that was on the top there. Again have a look on the channel. Um, I've got a short film about that which just shows you a bit of the detail and how to reset it and um, and to get it all tickety-boo again and refill it but uh, it's it's a good system frost protection system but uh, it can catch you off guard if uh, if it's been a chilly night and you wake up to zero water and um, and uh, and generally one or two things don't work that's all it needs though a quick reset press of a button and away you go and then as we work our way back round again you can see there's a lovely little feature there it gives you a little bit more workspace See it's spring loaded under there and then it's just a case of pressing that down and it just allows that to drop back down again. There's that switching for your step and for the lighting again. So that's the sort of front section of the van. Then this midsection has a lot of really cool features. Straight away you're probably thinking, well that looks a little bit like a shower tray. Uh, you'd be absolutely right. There you go. So yes. Your second question may be, how on earth does that become a shower? Because obviously you've got a fridge here and one or two other bits. Well, yeah, it's also clever use of clever use of these sliding doors, which come round on the runners here. We can then get this one here. You can see it's concertinaed into the small space here. So we grab, grab that, bring that round as well. So now you're starting to get the effect. We are completely enclosed now. Fridge is out of sight. And the final piece of the equation, yeah, that gives it away and here we go. So there's your shower curtain, which comes across this last bit to fill this space just in front of me. So between, you can just see it comes across this section here. But obviously the, the floor is such that with a slight raised area there that any water that comes down the inside of that shower curtain uh, is going to drain away and down into this, through these channels, into this um, shower tray that I'm standing on. Um, so while we're in this section, let's just show you a bit more. Let's just open this again. So 
that just pulls away. You can see it just rolls back in there. Really nice, easy action. Doesn't need any effort at all. Really nicely done. And there's your um, uh, your tap, which doubles up as your shower. Just pulls out. Up it goes into the uh, into that notch just up there. Um, extended cord and that gives you your hot and cold water um, for your shower but obviously it doubles up as your basin tap as well with a little hand basin there um, we've got down here I've got a little bit of storage there and you can see there your hot and cold pipes coming up through there but also some quite good little storage there flushing toilet set toilet style with that uh, with the opening to it obviously on the outside for when it's time to empty um, uh, opening windows there obviously your blinds come up and down from the top there comes your comes your fly screens another rolly door there or rolly catch I should say which gives you space to a little bathroom cabinet mirrored cabinet there and a little bit of storage there together with a, a slightly larger mirror there so very cleverly it's just so cleverly packed in to this space really like it so this one then let's slide this one back and there we go there's your bathroom nowhere to be seen closed away very nice too. Now there's some really, um, some really good bits and pieces back here as well to show you in uh, in the sleeping area. But before I do, let's just show you this uh, this fridge space, full length here. Good size little freezer section in there. There we go. And good door space as well, adjustable shelving, obviously for your uh, for your Dometic fridge. Up above the fridge, a little bit more storage and some electrics in there. Hiding at the back, but a nice, uh, again, a nice space, offering some generous storage. Now, onto the back section here. You can see uh, a lot of opening windows, a lot of light in this section as well, which is really nice. Um, some sort of books and knickknack holders there on both sides of the van. Um, cupboarding all the way around, locker space again, a nice easy ergonomic catching. A few electrics, of course, hiding away in there, but you can see if I put the camera in there, see that's a good, uh, a really good space there, and similarly over this side, a good space there. Some little, um, little recesses here open recesses but they've got this slightly raised front on the shelf to stop things sliding around or sliding off um, and the other thing I want to show you as well look at these lights now they've got little switches on them obviously which works the light itself but watch what happens here so you can turn it quarter turn the whole unit comes out you can then put it a bit further down the down the rail lock it back in place and back on it goes so that is really clever. Look how far the the track goes all the way from the front, all the way down the underside of those cupboards. And similarly over this side, that track all the way along there. So you can just pop the lights off and reposition them exactly where is the best for you, be they reading lights um, or be they just some additional lights for, for the evening time in these winter evenings. God. November evenings, dark by nearly by about half past four, it's horrendous. But not in this cosy van. Uh, you've got your, obviously your window space there, which just press the button there and then you've got a sort of three positions. You can see the positions there. You can lock it into position there or you can get it higher up or indeed you can go all the way up to there which gives you a lovely open window space and I can tell you when we were in uh, France this year in June and indeed uh, a bit later on in the year we went uh, we were lucky enough to be able to go all the way down to Croatia um, then we certainly had those window hatches open in our motorhome in fact if you wanted to have a look at those trips we did 
France and, uh, and then Croatia later on in the year, then do check out our other films on the channel, which show some of the amazing places we visited while we were uh, trundling down Europe. Very nice. But anyway, back to our space here. So if we just have a look down the bottom here first, there's you can see your gas controls there um, for your heating hot water um, and for your cooker. So you can actually, you know, isolate each unit off if you want to. You can see that you've got more storage. And indeed, of course, these steps are completely removable because you can see you've got um, just simple little uh, screws there that you can undo, which allows you to take this whole unit out of the way. Uh, and similarly, you can see there on the sides of these steps, you've also got, uh, you can also detach that completely. So you can take those completely out of the way if you wanted a little bit more space. Um, but it's also partly to do as well with the way that this whole modular sort of bed system works here at the back. Uh, I can show you a bit of it from the front, but probably easier to show you from around the back of the van actually. But these under here, um, there we go, you can start to see the bed frames under here, but what you can probably also see under the bed frame is some sort of more spaces. So um, so it means that this whole, these, these whole sections, there's one bed frame section which goes down and that way, then there's another section of bed frame there which goes from that side across there. Now what you can do with that, um, if you wanted the extra space, uh, or if you need the extra, uh, extra space pass for bikes or something like that in the back here, is that if you look under there, you've got these little catches here, and those are the telltale signs that there is a receiving clip in there. And what it means is that you can actually uh, break your bed area down into sections, which then fold up against this side, because there's obviously no straps this side, so the, the pieces fold up against this side, so you can have your two single bed frames, then your mattresses, all going vertical there, and it opens up a storage area under here where, where you could get, say, bigger items, particularly, say, bikes or something like that, if you didn't want to sort of fix them onto the back of the van. Um, and probably the easiest way is if I go around the back now and just show you underneath, you'll get a real flavour of what I mean by that um, extra space. Um, so you might have had, for example, you might take your steps out, you might then take the central pieces out, uh, then you stow your bed pieces, and what you're left with is at the back, if we come in through here, so now you can get a, a better idea of that sectional piece there. So you can see these two separate pieces of bed frame or your mattress supports if you like. There's the, there of course is the piece of strap that goes up into those clips on the uh, tops of the cupboards there and holds these separate pieces. These bars, this little cross members here, if I just move that you can see that they just sit in these, uh, these little grooves there second piece going across there. So you can now start to see the effect. You've taken your two bits of bed frame off, you've taken your mattresses off, you've, they're all up right over there. You take these two supports out, pop them out, all aluminium, so very lightweight, and you're now left with a uh, space here, which is now from the floor all the way up. So you've got a really tall space now. As I say, perhaps bikes, perhaps whatever else you might want to carry. But you've also got as well, where you see where it recesses at the back there, you've also got a section there along the side which could take some quite long items. Um, but I don't know, be it sections of awnings, be it chairs, you know, be it, um, uh, be it pop-up washing lines, whatever it may be, you know. So whatever the length, you've got a fairly good space there to, uh, to get those sections in. You've obviously got storage at the back here. Little, uh, with these uh, elastic retaining straps um, and of course this piece here which I was just moving around you can probably guess by the shape of it that this is the infill section together with the mattress piece that then get added at the front there right up the front there to make that extra single berth um, so very you know really innovative, innovative use of space um, You've got lashing points here at the back, so of course if you were putting in larger items and didn't want to roll around, you can, uh, you can then ratchet strap them down um, to keep them in place. Um, and you've also got, of course, at the back here, you've got your gas locker in there. 
So that's a good uh, good size locker that would take at least two sixes I would think. Um, very similar size to the one we've got on our motorhome. Um, Indeed, if uh, if any of you use a different combination of gas canister in your globe car, then do uh, put the uh, put the comments uh, add that to the comments below for those that might be watching the film as well. Um, you've got here as well these little buttons here. What that does in effect, press the button, and yes, you've guessed it. You can see the warnings there. It allows you the door. If we just uh, press it now, it allows then the door to open fully back but I'm just going to keep it supported because we're a bit breezy today and as you can see here you can see that it goes right up against your light cluster at the back there so hence there is uh, and there we go it just locked back in position so hence you can see that they're warning you of that so uh, if you do uh, if you do open your doors right back then uh, be careful of your light clusters because if they're anything like ours on our van then they'd be very expensive it's always the way isn't it the smallest bits are generally the most expensive and yes of course another button that side but as I said uh, earlier got your blinds there each side your fly screen but what's nice as well is you've got um, ability to pop you've got three catches there that just retain your little window space and then these you can tighten down these each side which just then allow you to position the window and it'll just stay in place then if you just uh, if you just add a little bit of tautness to those to those retaining lugs so nice with obviously your roof roof fence up there roof fence at the front windows at the side with a similar system of three catches you can see that even if you're baking away in 40 degree med temperatures because it uh, that's what it hit when we were down in France June it was showing 46 on the van at one point just north of the med um, so if you're baking away in those temperatures then you'll definitely want all those lovely ventilation hatches open um, getting the air through your van but uh, in fact it gives you a good view from back here of the uh, of that uh, of what is a really you know quite a, a lengthy space there really nice sized bedding area here but one which remains really versatile because of that ability to secure everything back against that side with the straps and uh, and have a huge luggage storage space without you know having to think about say roof racks or or you know bike racks on the on the back or whatever that may be um, so yeah, really like that. And there's some quite uh, some quite clever use of space. So that's the uh, that's the Globe Car Elegance, based as I say on that Peugeot chassis, Peugeot boxer chassis. But what a lovely um, what a lovely use of space. And some really good modern touches coming in there, but and some very clever use of materials and that to to get those spaces um, configured the way you saw them. So, um, if this is catching your eye, then as I say, November 2022, in fact we're towards the back of nearly December, is it time for an early Christmas present to yourselves? I think it may be. Give Dave a shout here at Venture Caravans. There you go. Venture Caravans and Motorhomes, incorporating obviously Redline as well, campers. Come down and get your deposit down on this globe car. Lovely. Or of course one of those buttes. But check out the channel. Some other films with some of those on as well. A big thank you as always for watching. If you've enjoyed what you've seen and want to see more then do think about subscribing to our channel. We'd love to have you along and you could of course click the notifications to, so that it lets you know when, we, when our next film is out, be it our trips to Croatia or of course some more mooches around some of the vans that we're coming across on our travels. So it'd be great to have you along. Hope you've enjoyed it and see you again very soon.